Hi, I'm Lisa Bardot, and in this video, we're gonna be talking all about the brand new 10th generation iPad that was just released. I'll talk to you about what's new, what I love about it, how it works with the Apple Pencil. I'll even show you one of the cool new accessories, the Magic Keyboard Folio, which I really love. And then I'll show you some of the cool new iOS 16 features and how you can use it with Procreate. And then finally, I'll give you some advice if you're trying to decide on whether or not you should upgrade to this new iPad. Let's get into it. This is the 10th generation iPad, and I'm excited to show you what's new about it. But first of all, this particular model of iPad is just a great all around everyday iPad. It's nice and compact, and it's a great entry point for people that are just getting started with working in Procreate and digital art. So first of all, these iPads come in some fun colors. They come in a pink, a blue, a yellow, and a silver. And if you know me, you know that I love color, and this palette is really great. It's very CMYK, which I love as an artist, but I got the pink, of course, because it's so fun. <laughs> This generation of iPad has received the awesome body design you've come to know and love in some of the other iPad models like the Mini, the Pro, and the iPad Air. It's got this full frame design. The home button is no more. You can actually turn it on now using Touch ID with this button up at the top. This iPad has a larger screen size in roughly the same footprint, which is a nice upgrade. It also has the liquid retina display, which basically just means that it has a higher pixel density. So if you're upgrading from an older generation of this particular model, you will have a noticeable difference. So this will mean that you have crisper, clearer, more vibrant colors when you're working in Procreate. Another thing I love is that they move the front facing camera from here on the top to here on the side, which makes it so much easier to do FaceTime with my kids. And to get into the technicals just a little bit, this iPad has the A14 Bionic processor, which means that it'll have a 20% increase in performance over the previous generation of iPad. It also has a better camera than the previous model. It can shoot up to 12 megapixel photos and 4K video. Another thing I love is that this iPad now has speakers on both sides, so when I'm laying in bed watching a movie, it sounds really great. Let's talk a little bit about Apple Pencil. Here's some good news if you own a previous generation of this iPad and you already own a Gen 1 Apple Pencil. So the new 10th generation iPad is compatible with the Generation 1 Apple Pencil. And there's a couple things to know when it comes to charging this, which I'll show you a little bit right now. I love that Apple is unifying the iPad product line and now has the USB-C port at the bottom of these new generation of iPads. As you may already know, the Gen 1 Apple Pencil charges via Lightning. So they've created this little adapter that you can use to charge it via USB-C on these 10th generation iPads. So if you've already got one of these Apple Pencils, you can get this little adapter pretty affordably. And if you're buying a brand new Gen 1 Apple Pencil, the adapter comes in the box. Before I show you a few things in Procreate, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite new accessories, which is the Magic Keyboard Folio. So I've got one right here. It comes in this two-piece design. So this piece goes on the back and it just attaches magnetically just like that. It's got this little kickstand that you can pop out and then you can turn it around and just snap it on just like that. So this is really cool because it can function just like a laptop. So you can type on it, da 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 da. And then when you're ready to start drawing, you can just close this up and flip it around like this and lay it flat so that you can pick up your Apple Pencil and start drawing. And it also has the ability to flip around. So if you didn't want your keyboard sitting on the table, you could just uh, pop it right off, flip it around, and now it's a little more protected like that. Really quick, I wanted to show you something that you can do in Procreate using the new Lift Subject feature from iOS 16. So Lift Subject is a way to instantly cut a subject out of a photo, which you can use in a number of different ways. I've drawn this background of sky and grass, and I wanted to add some photo elements to create this really cool kind of collage effect. So if I go into my Photos app, I can tap and hold on one of these photos and the subject will instantly lift out. And then I can go into Procreate and drop that right in and kind of arrange it within my composition. So this is a really fun way to add a few elements and do a collage style artwork in Procreate. I think there's a lot of creative possibilities and really fun things that you could do with this feature. Before we wrap things up, I wanted to give you a little advice if you're trying to decide whether or not you should upgrade to this new iPad. 
This is a great all-purpose, all-around iPad. It's got everything you need, all the essentials to kind of get you started. It's on the lower end as far as budget, so it's a nice entry point for people that are just getting started. It's got a smaller form factor than some of the Pro models, so it's nice and portable, but it still has that really good 10.9 inch screen, which is gonna be great for drawing. Plus, it's a great iPad for the whole family, whether you're playing games, watching movies, doing email, texting, all those really great things that you could do with an iPad. I would say this is a great iPad for hobbyists and non-pro users. You're not gonna get as many layers in Procreate as you would in some of the more powerful models like the iPad Pro and the iPad Air, but it still has everything you need to make amazing art. I will be doing a full video comparing the different iPad models and how they work in Procreate, the different layer counts that you'll get with each model, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you don't already have an iPad, I think that this particular model is a great place to start your creative journey. And if you're looking to upgrade and you already have a generation one Apple Pencil, then I think this is the jump you've been waiting for. You're gonna see a significant increase in performance and the new display is gonna look gorgeous for your artwork. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning about the new 10th generation iPads. Stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna be talking about the brand new 2022 iPad Pros with M2 processor and a bunch of really cool new features, including Apple Pencil Hover. I am so excited about this new iPad and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Thanks again for watching. I'm Lisa Bardo and I help people find their creativity through drawing on the iPad. If you'd like to support me, I hope you'll check out my premium brush sets that inspire creativity at bardobrush.com. And if you wanna take your art to the next level, you should join Artmakers Club. Artmakers Club is a joy-filled creative community and learning hub for digital art makers. As a member, you'll get access to a growing library of in-depth courses, live virtual events and tutorials, free Procreate brushes, and more. Plus, you'll be joining a supportive and uplifting community of learning artists. Find out more at artmakersclub.com. Thanks and happy art making. If you like this video, please subscribe for more awesome tutorials and check out one of my other videos. Have a great day.